I feel like Benicio is one of these uh, small list of actors that no matter what role he plays, he just always looks cool doing it. From the usual suspects to Reptile to Sicario, whatever you put Benicio in, he just always gonna come off like the cool dude. Uh, and, I, and I think when I say that short list, other cool actors that come to mind are people like Denzel Washington, Clive Owen. Um, I'm sure there's some other ones I'm missing. Uh, Mark Madsen in certain, in certain regards. Um, I'm sure there's some other names I'm missing, but just off the top of my head, those are just some guys that, no matter what the role is, they're gonna bring a cool guy presence or tone in that thing, no matter what. Hey, what's going on folks? Another episode of Ryan Reviews Everything, and we are talking about Reptile, uh, one of the most recent movies off of Netflix. This is one of those mystery whodunit detective type of movies. I thought it was pretty fly. This stars Benicio Del Toro, Justin Timberlake, and Alicia Silverstone. And in terms of uh, Silverstone, uh, I'm glad to see her back on the scene. I think the, the first time I saw her back in something was America Horror Stories. I believe she was on the season two finale, if I'm not mistaken, but you can go check it out. Um, but as I mentioned, I, I thought this was a fly movie. This is directed by Grant Singer. Uh, the name may not sound familiar to you. Uh, maybe you are familiar with it if you watch a ton of music videos. He, the majority of his resume or filmography consists of music videos from some of your favorite artists. The Weeknd, Sam Smith, Future, Lord I think is in there. The list goes on. So uh, I think this may be his first major film um, outside of doing a long list of uh, music videos dating back to as early as like 2011, 2012. But what Reptile is about, you ask? Reptile is about Benicio Del Toro's character, who's a, who is a Detective Nichols. He, he gets involved in this, in this uh, what seems to be a typical murder case or homicide case. And as he's continuing, continuing to solve the case, he realizes fairly quickly that there's there may be a lot more layers to this particular homicide case than what you know it originally appeared to be. Um, in terms of Justin Timberlake, uh, he his role in this uh, particular film is he is a, a extremely successful uh, real estate agent uh, in a small town, and the case is about his wife who is murdered in one of the homes that they're trying to sell. Um, I don't want to give away too much, but um, once again, an amazing film. Um, this starts to delve into a little bit of everything. It kind of reminds me of Copland a little bit, but it delves into a little bit of everything from the conflict of you know brotherhood amongst uh, police officers and detectives, as well as you know some police corruption, you know temptation to look the other way or temptation to even get involved uh, with said corrupt cops so this is definitely something i highly recommend you check out um i really enjoyed the way this was shot um especially being that grant singer it was the director of this film um so as i said i mean because of his experience with music, music videos for him to get you know like an all-star cast of, of this magnitude on netflix uh definitely didn't miss a beat i'm, I'm sure he treated this just like a longer version of a music video just with no music um and a lot of talented actors uh, along the way um so yeah i really enjoyed uh benicia del toro's role as well i really feel like i feel like benicio is one of these uh small list of actors that no matter what role he plays he just always looks cool doing it from the usual suspects to reptile to sicario Whatever you put Benicio in, he just always going to come off like the cool dude. Uh, and I and I think when I say that short list, other cool actors that come to mind are people like Denzel Washington, Clive Owen. Um, I'm sure there's some other ones I'm missing. Uh, Mark Madsen in certain, in certain regards. Um, I'm sure there's some other names I'm missing, but just off the top of my head, those are just some guys that no matter what the role is, they're going to bring a cool guy presence or tone in that thing no matter what. But uh, as I said, um, being that Benicio is, um, you know, unraveling more of this case than what appears to be a simple homicide, 
Uh, he's definitely faced with a lot of temptation um, in terms of what I mentioned earlier from getting involved with some corruption, um, bribery perhaps, um, just if you're just overwhelmed with other cases, yeah, hey, this case seems to be solved, hey, put it in the books, I ain't gonna worry about it anymore. There's a lot of stuff that, there's a lot of, um, you know, just obstacles that, that Benicio's character goes through throughout this film. Um, and, and, and yeah, I highly recommend anyone check it out, um, especially if you're a fan of, you know, you know, crime drama type of films. This is definitely up there. Uh, as I said, this reminds me of, the, of stuff like Copland, you know, maybe a little bit of The Departed. It's in that same type of vein, you know, um, and I'm gonna leave it at that because once again, I'm trying to do this without spoiling anything. Highly, highly recommend you go check it out. And also while you're here, go ahead, hit that uh, like and subscribe button and I appreciate it. Love it or hate it folks, that's my review. Peace. <laughs>